In this tutorial, we are going to be making a digital drawing of our stool. A digital design allows us to get a feel for our project and to try out different design ideas without using any wood. Once we are satisfied with our design, the 3D file will then help us create a precise cut list and blueprint. Our first step is to make a new project. Click File, then New. Make sure that standard.ipt is selected and click Create. Right after making your model is a good time to save it and give it a name. Inventor does not save projects automatically, so this step will allow you to quick save later and will reduce your chance of losing your project. In this first step, we are modeling the legs of our stool. Keep in mind that some of the dimensions I use may differ from your design. If you are unsure of your dimensions, then you should ask the teacher. We need to make a 2D sketch. We need our first 2D sketch to be on the XZ plane. To do that, we click Start 2D Sketch. These three orange planes are the origin planes. To select the XZ plane, we can either hover our mouse over the orange origin planes until we see XZ plane, or we can adjust the navigation cube until the word top is facing us and then select the origin plane that is also currently facing us. Click on the XZ plane to start your sketch. Each one of the stool's legs will be square. Select the rectangle tool and begin drawing from the origin, where the two black lines meet. Draw the rectangle out and then give the rectangle dimensions. Remember, there are two ways to enter a dimension while you are drawing. The first way is to enter a dimension while the shape is still being made by typing and using the tab key to switch which box you are inputting numbers. You can also set dimensions after drawing the rectangle by using the dimension tool. With one leg drawn, we need to draw the other three. It is easy to keep the adjacent legs in line by drawing the next two rectangles on the axis line. Dimension these legs the same as you did the first one. They are all made of the same size material. For the last leg, our steps are slightly different. Draw the rectangle in the approximate spot and dimension the sides to match the first leg. Then we can use the collinear constraint to place the leg square with the others. It is worth aligning all the outside legs our last step is to define the distance between the legs of our stools. I am entering my dimensions for the outside measurements of my stool. Select the dimension tool and then click on the edge of one leg and the edge of another leg. Place your label with the third click and enter the dimension. Repeat this step for the other legs. If you find one of the legs of your chair moves while you are dimensioning it, you can use the collinear constraint to realign it. Once we have dimensioned our legs and specified how far apart they are, we are done with this sketch. Click Finish Sketch. Now is a good time to save. Click File Save or hold the Control key and tap the S key. Let's extrude our stool legs. Click Extrude. As we have drawn multiple closed shapes in our last sketch, Inventor cannot guess what we want to extrude. We can tell Inventor what we want to extrude by selecting our stool legs. Next, we specify how tall the legs will be. We just start typing, Inventor will default to putting those numbers into the text box that is glowing blue. We can also click the text box next to Distance A on the Extrude Properties and type in our dimensions. Once we have selected all the legs and set the distance, we can click OK to finish the extrude. In this next step, we need to model the recessed holes in the stool that the dowels will be glued into. We are going to need to repeat this step four times. We want to model a cylindrical cut on the inside face of the legs. If we were to start a sketch and click the inside surface of the leg, we would have some difficulty drawing as the view would be blocked by the other leg. We can use the sectional view tool to hide parts of the model that is blocking our view. In this case, the sectional view will let us hide the legs of the stool that would be in our way. To make a sectional view, click the View tab and then look in the Visibility Tools. We want to click Half Sectional View. 
If that isn't what is visible, then click the drop down arrow next to the tool and select half sectional view. We can now click on a surface to place our sectional view. We want to place the sectional view just off the surface that we are going to model the recessed holes. If we place the sectional view perfectly on the surface that we want to draw on, Inventor won't let us start a sketch. When we click to place the sectional view, Inventor will give us the option to offset the sectional view. We want our sectional view to be just off the surface of the leg. We can enter an offset of 1 millimeter. Click the green checkbox to accept the sectional view. We can now place our sketch. To access the Start 2D Sketch tool, click the 3D Models tab and then Start 2D Sketch. Draw a circle on the leg near the top and dimension the circle to be the diameter of the drill bit that will be used to drill the hole. Set the distance from the center of the circle to the top edge of the leg. Remember, the exact distance will be determined by your design. Constrain the center of the circle to the edge of the leg. This distance will be half the thickness of the stool leg that you specified when drawing the legs. In my example, my legs were 50 millimeters on each side, so my distance from the center point of the circle to the edge will be 50 divided by 2, which is 25. We can repeat drawing and dimensioning the circle on the other leg. Don't forget to constrain the circle from the top and the edge of that leg. With both circles drawn, dimensioned, and constrained, we can hit Finish Sketch. Click Extrude and select both circles that were just drawn. Set the extrude distance to 10 millimeters and the Boolean to Cut, and then click OK to finish your extrude. We are done with this sectional view. To end a sectional view, click the View tab and drop down menu next to Half Sectional View and select End Sectional View. Now is a good time to save. Click File Save or hold the Control key and tap the S key. We need to repeat this step four more times to model all the recessed cylinders. Each leg needs two of these pockets for the dowel to be glued into. Rewind the video to 4 minutes and 48 seconds to follow along again. We will now model our dowels. This step has a lot of similarities to modeling the holes to be drilled into the legs. Just like in the last step, if we were to start our sketch to model the dowels, our sketch would be hidden behind a leg. This would make drawing more difficult, and just like with the last step, we are going to use our sectional view tool to make drawing easier. Click the view tab and then half sectional view. As we will be drawing at the bottom of the pocket, we can click the surface of the leg and that can be our offset. Click the green checkbox or hit enter on your keyboard to start the sectional view. Just like before, click the 3D models tab and then start 2D sketch. We want the sketch to be at the bottom of our pocket. We will select the circle tool to use because our dowels are round. Let's draw our circle. The circle does not need to be in the right place as we will fix that using the concentric constraint. Remember, concentric means that two circles or arcs share the same center point. We can use the dimension tool to give our circle the dimension of our wooden dowel. To make our circle in the exact right place, we can use the concentric constraint and then click the circle we drew and the round edge of the recessed pocket modeled into the leg. We can repeat those steps to draw a circle, dimension it, and then coincident constrain it on the other leg. Both circles dimensioned and constrained, we can hit finish sketch. We are done with this sectional view. To end a sectional view, click the view tab and the drop down menu next to half sectional view and select end sectional view. Finally, we get to extrude our dowels. Click the 3D Model tab and then Extrude. Select the two circles you just drew. We are going to use the Extrude tool to measure the exact length that we need our dowels to be. Under the Behavior section and next to the Distance A box, we can find the To command. Click the To command box and rotate your view so you can see the matching pockets in the other stool legs. 
click the bottom of the pocket and the model dowel will extend to perfectly match the distance. Hit OK to accept your extrusion. Now is a good time to save. Click File Save or hold the Control key and tap the S key. We need to repeat this process one more time to make the other two dowels. Rewind the video to 7 minutes and 59 seconds to follow along again. If your stool has additional features, now is the time to model them. You can create additional sketches, recessed pockets, and dowels to match your design. Now is a good time to save. Click File Save or hold the Control key and tap the S key.